Hi, my name is Phil Crawford, and today we're going to talk about Thing Link. That's T H I N G L I N K. Thing Link. It's a free and user friendly digital tool that provides users with the ability to turn any image into an interactive graphic. If you look here on their actual homepage, they've actually made the homepage uh, into a Thing Link. So, um, as you can see, you can, you can vote. Uh, you can link things to your social media. You can link a video. You can link stories. You can also link other, pretty much any kind of information that's out there. Um, what Thing Link allows you to do is to create multiple hotspots on a sp on a specific part of the image and turn that into a multimedia launcher. So if we look at this video, we can actually click on it and view that video. Um, and like I said previously, you can include video, audio, links to any website uh, that you can possibly think of. Um, it's a very easy way to in embed interactive activities. Um, there's a multitude of different ways that you can use this in the educational classroom. Um, I really believe that it's an amazing tool that packs a lot of content into a, a really small space. So uh, we'll get more into all of that in the, the upcoming videos. But on their homepage, if you haven't created an account yet, you can do so with email. Um, or the easier and quicker option for most people would be to sign up through Facebook or Twitter or Google+. Um, I wouldn't recommend um, requesting a demo unless you are trying to demo this for, you know, the heads of your district or something like that. Uh, I would really recommend you just create your account and dive in. So uh, we'll talk more about the features and what you can and can't do in the uh, following videos.